thought you'd be at the hospital. Dad, I was going crazy waiting. You know, Dad's gonna be in surgery for hours. It's so great. Rex changed his mind about the transplant. I know. Jessica told me. You spoke to Jess? Yeah, she called. She wanted to know if I was sorry for sleeping with you. Well, that's good. That's good. You guys can, um, follow this in the past and get back together. Actually, no. Why not? I couldn't tell her I was sorry. Because I'm not. Look, I, I know what happened between us meant something to you. It meant something for me, too. But that was before Jessica came back. Her coming back made things clear for me. Meaning? Jessica and I can't go back to the way things were before. Too much has happened. I think we both just felt that on the phone. I know I did. But you haven't even really tried. All I've done is try. But too many things are different now. Including the way I feel about you. Right before Jessica came back, you, you and I were talking about being a family, you and me and Liam. What we were doing right before Jessica came back was making love, and not because we were drunk and hurt like the first time. This time it was because of our feelings for each other. There was something real there. I know. And we talked about seeing where it could go and, and where we could go together with our son. I remember, but that's impossible now. Is it? Brody, I can't be in a real relationship with you. Because you still love John? No. No, I mean, that's over. We're good. John made that very clear. Then? It doesn't mean that it, it wouldn't still hurt him to see us together. And, and obviously, the bigger issue is Jessica. Who left me? Because she was upset. Exactly. She didn't think our relationship was strong enough to stick around for us. She let that maniac Tess run around with Ford and Cutter and God knows who else instead of coming back to me. Okay, but she's back now. She's no different than John. He didn't think your relationship with him was worth saving either. So we're just supposed to forget about them? No. But why should we keep worrying about hurting the people who've hurt us so much, who had no problem moving on to other people? Don't we deserve the same chance to have something for ourselves? Buddy. Look. There's something between us, Natalie. And our son is a big part of it. And... And we can give him... a family. A mother and a father who care about each other more than care about each other. We both know it. We both feel it. I meant what I said that night. I, I want to see where this can go. I want to try to build that family. But if you can't go there because of Jessica and John, I'll, I'll understand. I'll back away and never bring it up again. What does that mean? It means that... that you're right. We didn't see this coming. We didn't plan for it, but here we are, and something's... something's happening, and we shouldn't run from it. I don't want to. For the first time in a long time, I feel good, really good, and that's because of you and our son. I know. I know. I feel the same way, too. You know what? I'm tired of feeling like everything I do is wrong. I mean, yeah, we, we could spare everyone else's feelings and move apart, or we can accept how we feel and try to build a life for our son, and Liam deserves to have a family. And his parents deserve a chance to be happy. Yeah, you're right, they do. You know, it's not gonna be easy. A lot of people are gonna be judging us. Hmm. Ain't my first rodeo. Jessica hates my guts. And John? 
has absolutely no right to object. You know, things are going to be awkward. You know, obviously we're both going to have to see Jessica. And we both have to work with John. I have to tell him. Face to face. I mean, you shouldn't hear this from someone else. I owe him that much. Mm. I have to log in the rest of the evidence from the room where Gigi was poisoned. I still can't believe she's gone. Me neither. Hey. Hey. We're doing the right thing. This is gonna be good. It is gonna be good. <laughs> something to tell you. I have something to tell you, too. Natalie didn't have another man's baby. She had John's. 